on the drive, looped in to see ride, cooped in. Who gon' slide? Who's in? Big rocks round. Hi everyone, Bob is in the house. And today uh, we are reacting to a new video by James Blake and Rosalia. I didn't react to James Blake's new album, didn't give any opinions uh, on his uh, new album, Assume Form, uh, to you guys. So I decided to make it up pretty much uh, with this uh, reaction video to uh, absolutely stunning killer single, uh, Barefoot in the park rosalia has incredible vocals on it and it's such a beautiful song and um songs like barefoot in the park and miles high uh, or mile high uh, with travis scott is just incredible um incredible singles let's just get into it let's just uh, watch what they have to offer visually to this song barefoot in the park rosalia james blake music with bob first reaction let's go Okay, so I see uh, cars that are crashed, and I see a little boy and a little girl. I'm assuming it's like child versions of James and Rosalia. But for some reason they are not walking barefoot, they have shoes on them. Yeah. Some for some reason a girl vanished. She's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I like the landscape behind James. It's beautiful. Now they're like sort of not in the city, it's like more happening next to the mountains. At least it felt like with James. With Rosalia, it's like it's still with the city. Yeah, this visuals, uh, they are similar to Mile High, like, there, it is like a state of trance, it leads to somewhere. It's like, when you're high, you like, you see things like, in this way, but um, I, per I personally have never been high, so I, I don't know, but, oh, they passed each other. Oh, wait a second. And then they crashed later. Damn. Um, Rosalie and James. Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, so I watched the clip for the second time and now I finally understood what's going on. So basically, at the beginning, we see uh, two cr crashed cars, and then we see a boy and a girl, and like they take us to the journey, um, you know, of their young, like of Rosalia's and James Blake's younger selves. So they are looking at their younger self, being adults already, like look, just like looking at their past. And then like their experiences, their childhoods, what was happening, Rosalia uh, like kind of was smiling, looking back like at her memories. And then like we see they're fading away, like their younger versions are fading away during like during this uh, video clip. And then um, at the end, it happens to be like those same cars. Uh, like we see Rosalia and James Blake driving those cars. And then uh, like it should have been like a car crash happening that car crash we saw in the beginning uh like that car crash should have happened but it didn't like they just passed each other looked at each other as if like they knew each other or something like that like like they, they kind of were surprised or shocked for some reason to be honest i interpreted it before as if um like the kids who were standing um 
and like they are James Blake and Rosalie, but in the cars, um, it was like their whole family died. So like both of their families died, but like they they were the only one survivors, and they they kind of looked at each other, uh, and then like they recognized each other when they were adults when they were crossing the street with their cars. They were like maybe rec I thought maybe they recognized each other uh, because of the, that tragedy. Like they saw each other at, at the tragedy. Like they have a common past, sort of. Uh, but no, that was the wrong assumption. I don't know how and why exactly they these people um knew themselves uh, knew uh each other before the collision uh i mean the collision never happened it was just like a uh, like a surreal reality that that car crash uh it's like a uh, abstract explanation of what happens when there are like near death experiences you know when you're about to die like you see your whole life in, in front of yourself like you know like in one memory and like rosalie and james park they were looking back uh, at their memories because they pro they probably had a near death experience like a car crash right um but then for some reason in the end we didn't see that cr crash happening so it's like all like a like a lost you know like the tv show lost it's like alternate realities and stuff <laughs> so it's like that uh, but uh the, the video was really cool um i thought that um it was shot it was shot really well it was really well done um and like the vibe of the song uh it's so uh mesmerizing it's so good it's so soothing it's nice and um yeah and the video of course fitted well to that too um that's pretty much it rosalia was uh, james blake was incredible as well and um yeah i will only announce the fact that um uh, when it comes to, when it comes to uh, our music with bob community uh king of 2019 tournament um i announced last week that uh, kaigo won already uh number one spot for quarter of one and now i kind of changed the rules a little bit i wanted instead of four songs at the end of the year i will have eight songs so instead of one song from each quarter i will have two songs from each quarter so that's why we had to determine the second song from our quarter one from january to march after uh, many polls decided that uh zed and Katy perry is going to be a contender number two on that tournament uh, so congratulations to those who voted for zed and uh, Katy perry uh, that's a great song i I have no complaints about that uh, awesome choice so now uh, we have two songs out of eight songs already like we know uh what songs are uh, are gonna be in 2019 at the end of 2019 and like decide together as a community uh what's the best song of the year you know those eight songs uh they are pretty much gonna be like eight best songs we've gathered throughout the year we will have to decide what's the best song out of those eight. And now, same with, uh, when it comes to songs, we have same tournament with albums. So right now, actually, if you look at those polls, like in the community section of Music with Bob, you will find um, <laughs> in other polls uh, related to albums, but there are only two. I will just decide quickly which two albums will go to the end of the year tournament. Um, I received a complaint that, you know, this uh, music with Bob kind of like polls, like uh, questioning uh, what song is good, what song is bad, is not really working out for people. It's like kind of annoying, maybe things like that. So I um, I took that complaint to my heart. Like uh, I, it was kind of sad to me because I was, uh, it was really interesting to me to do this, and uh, I will still do this, but a little bit uh, less often. So I'm planning to not include. Uh, our community for the second quarter uh, I will decide by my own in the second quarter what songs should land on to the tournament of 2019 uh, so till summer you will not have uh, we will not have any um, polls like that like we used to have throughout uh, February to April um, if that's okay with you guys um, I just received a complaint uh, Somebody didn't like it, you know, like uh, maybe I thought um, 
that's the opinion of the majority maybe it's not so let me know in the comments below if you want this uh, tournament to continue uh, if you want to decide by yourself uh, what song should uh, land on the tournament or what song should not or it is true and you're actually tired of these polls um, so I can do it uh, by by myself instead of you guys and I'll just show you um, my my decisions let me know in the comments below let's have a chat about it uh, thank you guys so much for watching hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye